In California, fishing season for the Dungeness crab has been delayed due to high levels of a dangerous neurotoxin. It's an environmental problem. Scientists blame warmer waters and an economic one. Dungeness crab is a $60 million a year industry. Here's Maria Villarreal. In November, this harbor south of San Francisco should have boats scouring the ocean, their pots filled with Dungeness crab. We have all new crab gear this year and spent $40,000 just getting everything ready before this season. It's a season that commercial fishermen Frank Souza and Gilbert Rosa know is now in jeopardy. This is by far the only year that we've been in the parking lot as opposed to out there catching some crab and eating him. Eating them now is out of the question with California health officials finding high levels of domoic acid in crab meat. If the Pacific Ocean waters stay warm, the crab remains poisonous. If the waters cool, the toxins will naturally dissipate and the season could be salvaged. This is out of the fishermen's hands, you know. We have to wait until the product is safe. I have kids and I wouldn't want to bring that product home to them, so I can't bring it home to anybody else. But the pain extends past these fishermen to here. The fresh crab now being served is from Alaska, but that season is almost over. This time of year, the big draw is the Dungeness crab. And in San Francisco, it's revered, says restaurateur Dante Serafini. It's a tradition in the city. It's, it's a crab at Christmas and Thanksgiving. Even if you, don't, if you have turkey, you'll have crab preceding the turkey. Holiday Dungeness is the bread and butter for fishermen, accounting, they say, for half of their annual income. There's definitely going to be a financial impact because Thanksgiving comes around. This is a big money-making event, and it's gone. So if the ocean waters stay warm... Could mean us losing all the stuff we have and having to sell off our boats. We've never had a situation where the crab season was being threatened. We go through 400,000 pounds of crab a year in our restaurants, and I don't know how to replace that. The predicted torrential rains haven't even arrived, but El Nino may already have California in its claws. Mireya Villarreal, CBS News, Los Angeles.